Yo, what is up everybody? Today we're going to be playing our first match of week three of the Side Quest Doubles Draft League. Um, going up against my good buddy Artisan Kane and the Bad Lombres. Um, I think this should be a pretty good series, hopefully. Hopefully we can get back in the win column here. Um, though, my man's got a pretty solid team here. Uh, Togekiss, Rotom Wash, Arcanine, Clefairy, Durant, Darmanitan, or Beetle, Hitmontop, Milotic, and Bisharp. I like that squad. Um, you know, Togekiss, Rotom Wash, and Arcanine are some of the best Pokemon in the format, at least as far as I'm aware of. So that's a pretty solid core right there. Um, but we're going to do our best to try and break that here. I think we have a pretty good shot. Um, obviously, we got the Lapras with the weakness policy. Um, going to be bringing that most weeks. It's pretty powerful. Uh, yeah, I just really like what this Pokemon can do for the team. It's so strong once you get it boosted up and that Aurora Veil makes it so hard to break through. Um, so that's what we got for this week. We got pairing it up with the Raichu again. It's got the speed swap on it. I like that because it helps us outpace basically everything except for um, uh, Darmanitan with the Choice Scarf there. Everything else gets outsped by... Uh, by the Lapras with the speed swap so that's what we want to try to accomplish here uh, next up we got the little Sun core we got the Torkoal and the Venusaur um, we got specs on the Torkoal trying to hit hard we might do something with maybe speed swapping the Torkoal and trying to get that guy putting out some damage it depends on if he brings Milotic or not um, but if he doesn't then we'll definitely be trying to do that. Uh, Venusaur is really good here for Rotom and Milotic. Helps out a lot with those two Pokemon. Um, yeah, that's about it for Torkoal and Venusaur. We got the Masharna here. Helps support the Lapras and the uh, Torkoal if we decide we want to use Trick Room. At some point in this matchup, that could be pretty useful for us. Um, but, you know, Masharna is just doing the same thing it does every week, really. And then we got uh, the Life Orb Clefable here, and it's got Follow Me on it this time. So we can pretty safely get up a Trick Room. Uh, and that's what we're bringing for this week. Hopefully, you know, like I said, we get back in the win column. Best of luck to my man Kane. I hope we have a really good series here, you know, pretty hype matchup. So, yeah, best of luck to you, and uh, I will catch y'all once we get into the game. Okay, as you can see here, we're about to get right into the game. Um, he did opt to bring that Milotic and the Rotom, which is tough for our team to break through. However... Mm, it's not the worst thing. It's definitely not the worst thing in the world. So what we're going to do... So we're going to lead... Torkoal Venusaur. We're going to bring Lapras in the back. And... Mm, we'll bring Clefable as well. We might have gone a little too slow there, but... Uh, I think this is what we want. Let's see what he chooses to lead off with. So he ends up going hit him on top and toga kiss there. kind of okay with that I'm going to I'm definitely gonna throw off an eruption here 
And I think I just want to max ooze the toga kiss. See, he could switch into Bisharp, which would be a hell of a play, but we're still clicking um, Eruption, so he has Wide Guard, so that'll that'll stop that. I didn't uh, Dynamax either, which is unfortunate. He goes for Yawn. Okay, so we will have to switch out our um, Venusaur here, but if we just keep clicking that um, Eruption, there's not too much you can do about that. Now the question is, which Pokemon do we want to go into here? Um, I think I'll go into Clefable, because I don't think Clefable is as important. For this game but I definitely would like to keep the Venusaur around definitely don't want it to fall asleep oop that must have been a misclick he goes for the yawn on the Torkoal but now we're gonna have this big eruption come out that's unfortunate because he like he must I don't I don't think that crit mattered because that this boy Torkoal is powerful as hell with those specs on him but uh, that is unfortunate if he misclicked fake out there which I'm assuming he must have um, yeah that's unfortunate brings out Bisharp and my Lodic um, so he's like definitely going to try and like iron head or something here I'm gonna go into Lapras and I'm going to protect get the Lapras in Power up punch, which is pretty interesting. He gets an attack boost there. But we do get that weakness policy up. And he goes for the muddy water, so we're gonna get the heal there with water absorb. Which is very, very nice. And uh Well well what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and get rid of this Bisharp here. Um, he could just take out our Clefable, but I'm like pretty good with it. I, I think it's fine. Um, but if we get the Veil up here, that is gonna be very nice for us. Power up punch Bisharp is definitely interesting though. I like that tech. That's pretty cool. So like I said, we're just trying to get rid of the Bisharp here. Um If this if it's like A V or something, it'll probably eat pretty well, but I'm not sure. And this is that coil set, which is a little bit worrisome. Because I'm assuming that means he's got hypnosis as well. Get that dazzling gleam. Take out the Bisharp, which is very nice. We got that Veil up too. Just left down to the Milotic. So what we're gonna do here um, is we're going to max Lightning, and we're going to um, 
we're going to use follow me because I don't want him to put my lapras to sleep with hypnosis and he just forfeits yeah I don't think there was much he could do after that there um, but GG for game one right there I think that was uh, pretty well played apart from that one misclick which is really unfortunate um, I just I have to assume that was a misclick um, but we're gonna get right into game two here go ahead and select the squad again now seeing what he did there um, I think what I'm going to do for this game is I think I'm going to try the Raichu and Lapras uh, combination so we've got Lapras, Raichu in the back I like what uh, Clefable brought from Follow Me but I feel like if I don't bring uh, Torkoal and Venusaur that's not great for us um, hmm yeah, we'll, we'll bring Torkoal and Venusaur in the back. I just think I like uh, what Venusaur can do for me in this match under Sun. So let's see what he chooses to lead off with for this, uh, this game. Um, if he ends up leading off with the same thing, I think we have a pretty clear idea of what we want to do. So he goes Togekiss and Rotom. Which I'm pretty cool with, to be honest, because Rotom can't do anything here. But we can go ahead and get that up. And we can also, we could fake out or we could just speed swap right here. Which I think that's, that's probably what we're going to do. See what he ends up doing here. Like I said, the the Rotom is pretty like it's in a pretty bad spot here. It can't really do a whole lot to our squad, um, at least to this lead. So we go ahead and Dynamax here. He does ally switch, but again, I'm pretty cool with it because uh, we're still going to get our screens up. I imagine he's going to go for Yawn here with the um, Togekiss. So unless he has double protect, you know what? I might do something dumb here. I can't actually max lightning a teammate. That's unfortunate. Um, because I want, I want to be able to get the electric terrain up. Because if we get electric terrain up, that means that we can stop our Lapras from going to sleep and we do get the terrain up which I think is pretty big goes for the dark pulse into the Venusaur but doesn't do a whole lot we got that electric terrain up um, we'll just throw off another Max Lightning, and we will Sleep Powder. Actually, <laughs> that was a misplay, because I got the damn... Actually, it's not a misplay, because those Pokemon are levitating. So we should be able, as long as he doesn't switch, um, Ally Switch is fine, because uh, I believe 
because the both those Pokemon are in the air, we should still be able to um, put them to sleep. I believe that's how that works. Yeah. So we'll freeze dry here, and then we will just sludge bomb into this slot. I don't really care if he goes into Bisharp. I'm not too concerned about it, to be honest. Get rid of that Rotom. Should be able to get rid of the Togekiss here as well. That's looking very good for us. Though he still has his Dynamax, so I'm not, uh, I'm not going to forget about that, because that could still be pretty worrisome. So he brings out the Bisharp. Let's see what the last Pokemon he brought was. That's the Arcanine. Okay. So what we'll probably do here, so we'll just click Surf, and then we'll go into uh, Raichu, because I don't really, I don't really need Raichu at this point. It's done what it's supposed to do. So we can just go into that and click Surf. The Dynamax is here. Like I said, this Pokemon could definitely still be a threat. Or, yeah, like, with the Dynamax, any Pokemon can be a threat, right? So, we'll see. I imagine a Max Knuckle comes out here. Probably into the, um, Raichu, but it would be nice if he gave me that weakness policy, you know? Flare Blitz comes out. That's probably into the Raichu. Yeah. But that's okay. Like I said, Raichu did what it had to do. Max Steel Spike. Does a good chunk. Bisharp is very strong. They get that defense boost, and we unfortunately lost our Aurora Veil there. Um. Now we are kind of in a not so great situation because of um, the fact that we can't click Surf really freely if we go out to Torkoal, but well, we're going to do it anyways. We do have Ancient Power, so we can still take out the, um, uh, the Arcanine here freely. Yeah, so... What we'll do is we will ancient power that boy. And I mean eruption in the sun with choice specs should still kill. I mean it depends on how much he does here uh, with his Bisharp. But we still got that boy Venusaur in the back. Let me throw off that Ancient Power, KO the Arcanine, and now it just depends on if we're able to pick up KO with Eruption here. Max Knuckle comes out, I'd assume into the Lapras, yep, takes out the Lapras, but that means that this Choice Specs Eruption is going to come out, and it looks like we're going to be able to get back into the Wind Column. Yeah, and it's just... Nothing you can do about Torkoal being that powerful. Hey, GG to my man Kane. I think, uh, to be honest, like the matchup was a little tough. Uh, I feel like I have a lot to deal with, a lot of the core Pokemon on this team, because Lapras and Raichu beat uh, Rotom and Togekiss, and um, that Venusaur is so great against... Um, the Milotic, 
So it's, yeah, I think it's a tough matchup, and I think that fake out there on that turn two sucked as well. Um, like, I again, I assume that was a misclick. It happens. It happens to the best of us. I, I misclicked Sleep Powder and thought I made a bad play when I made a good play. I didn't even know what was happening, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, GG's to my man Kane for that. We're back in the win column, which is great to see. Um, I will say before the video ends, there's not going to be a TPL video this week. Uh, I'm on my bye week for week eight, so won't have another TPL video until next week. But it's a hype matchup against a very stacked squad, so should be one to watch. If you enjoyed, be sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, follow me on that Twitter. Tell me if you enjoyed the video in the comments. Tell me if you'd like to see other Pokemon stuff. Maybe like a playthrough or some laddering on uh, Battle Stadium, something like that. Let me know. Um, otherwise, thank you all for watching. Peace.